Hello, you two. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Max Payne. And the last episode, if you were paying attention, we got the new weapon that you're seeing down here. It's called the Jackhammer. It is an automatic shotgun. It's not exactly too powerful, as you can see, but it is really cool because it's a shotgun and it's automatic and, you know, people like that kind of thing. And I'm not going to die doing this part this time because I'm not that stupid. Come out, come out wherever you are. I think you saw where I was. You know, man. I really hate people who refuse to see the inevitable, refuse to do the smart thing. I really hate people that decide to do this kind of thing in a fucking parking garage. That's what I say. No, I must do the right thing. Hey, shut up, asshole. Where the fuck did he go? Pretty sure that he didn't just, you know, phase through the wall right there. <laughs> You're dead. I killed you. Damn it. Let's get the fuck out of here. The payphone started to ring. Oh. How'd they know we were here? Oh well, let's let's see what they want. Yeah. Whatever does it for you. Alfred Woden, I can give the name of your enemy. Come to Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. I love when the audio cuts out in intense parts like that. But now we get to go to the Asgard building, I guess. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Why was his glasses only had one lens? My name in is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. Well, that's nice. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. Story fall. Oh, good. With that basement door mysteriously open. But you know what that means? Time for some fun. No game would be complete without going through a basement filled with booby traps and other good things. So let's have some fun with it here on another episode of Max Payne. Ah! Where'd you come from? Ah! I win! Alright, I need a different weapon, so let's bust out the Ingram while we get some more ammo for that Colt Commando. So, if I remember correctly, we are in the final staging area of this game. As sad as it is, but... Ooh, hello. That's a big, big lady. Yeah, you do that, guys. You shoot the kill. I challenge you to do that. Because you won't do it because you fucking suck. That's why. Uh, damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. 
And now we're loaded on painkillers. We have Advil for days. showed what was left of the inner circle. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. All right. Whoa. Come on, guys. Really? You had your chance. But since you fucked it up, you know what's gonna happen. No, 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 no. I would not tolerate that. I thought you were dead the first time around. What the hell? Okay, well, I think that door's gonna be the one I need to go through. I'm just making sure there's nowhere else to go. As usual. And now we'll go inside. <laughs> oh my god! That bastard lit me on fire. What's this problem? Whatever happened to playing by the rules instead of, you know, throwing bottles of alcoholic fire on people? Could go in there, but I don't want to yet. Just making sure there's nowhere else to go. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. Ah. Oh, come on. Like, I didn't see that or anything? That's what you get. If you're gonna sit here and play your little reindeer games, it's not gonna do you any good. So let's grab the old jackhammer since we got some more ammo for it now. And I will get to show you all the fun that it has. Ah! Come on, man. I love automatic shotguns. They're so much fun to play with. Alright, well, looks like our objective has been clear. Let's go in the door and see what happens. In a giant room filled with cubicles. Oh. Alright. Well, looks like this room has laser wire tripped everywhere. And apparently people like to put Desert Eagle ammo right next to the copy machine. I understand. But you know, I have my own ways around that sort of crap. Or maybe I don't. Oh! You know, you deserve to die if you do something stupid like that. Come on. You son of a bitch. Hmm. Alright, well. You know. I hope you learned from my mistakes there because that was literally one of the dumber things that I've done in this game. So, be smart about it. Throw a grenade. And then get on with your life. Keep your head on a swivel. Ah. Okay. Well, you know, I can light you on fire too, buddy. You're not really doing that great of a job of hiding. Or, you know, maybe he is. I don't even know. Ah, you're on fire. Oh my god. Oh no, you're on fire. You're burning to death. Sucks for you. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, before uh, I see what else is going on over there, let's check the radio. Because it's important. And what is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Well, you know, I, I would love to know what his problem with me is. Because... So far, I haven't really done anything to anybody. You know, I, I could be wrong here, but... I'm pretty sure I am kind of providing a service to everybody. But, I guess in Jim Brevera's mind, you know, I'm the wrong one here. Engaging husband. Ah, die, you bastards! Alright. Well, we can 
And we plow on. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, a videotape lay on the desk. Let's see what's going on with this videotape before we run out of time. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. You're right, Max. You're right. So, we are out of time. But if you stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play Max Payne, we get to go further in the building and see what the fuck's going on. And maybe we can shoot that dumb bitch and get it all over with. But you'll just have to see for yourself. So this is AMF saying I'll see you guys later.